This is a weekly reading for Taurus. Um, let's see, your, <coughs> you have ten songs. I, I will be putting them down in the, the description, so. Mm. I need one for the reading. So we have, hmm, the Beatles something, so. Um, let's see. Joy, direction, success, positivity, control, and celebration of willpower. So we'll, we'll see what that's about. I channeled that earlier and I was like, what? Um, but anyway. So your week as a whole is going to be the chariot. The chariot is fame, fortune, direction, um, being a source of inspiration, being an authority, travel, and movement career control and having drive willpower so you might be um you know popular or you, everybody knows your name and um maybe even a celebrity but um yeah i feel like it's it might be a lot of moving around and stuff and you might be a little bit worried about doing too much traveling uh, for obvious reasons but um you know, it's just, you know, it, it could be the start of maybe, um, visiting people and uh, signing autographs and actually realizing that you are a celebrity. It might be that type of thing. So, you know, um, <laughs> if, if you're new to it, believe me, it, it's a lot. Um, so number two, something unexpected that will arise. We have the five of wands. Um, a first for affection, jealousy, avoiding conflict, respecting differences, feeling envious of another, not feeling worthy, trapped in a conflict. So, so there might be somebody who kind of does the same stuff you do or is kind of like on the same level as celebrity as you or might be like a rival. You know, it happens. But I, I do feel like you might be envious of this person over something very trivial or it might be something that like came out and kind of made you look bad. So you might kind of have daggers for this person. And my cat's crazy. Anyway, so number three, how to stay grounded and balanced. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Being a thrill seeker, lack of passion, unable to finish, boredom, lack of energy, too much focus on sexual gratification. It's only the beginning, not the end. So you might have met somebody, you might be dating somebody's ex, and that might be why you're getting side-eyed. But I do feel like it's kind of like touch and go with um, like this relationship. It might be this person works a lot, or there's a lot of stuff going on, so could be one of those things. Anyway, number four, important emotion uh, you will feel this week. We have the three of wands in reverse. So having to work with others, if you're an extrovert, um, need for ex export, maybe uh, filming and stuff like that. Um, even if you don't want to do certain obstacles or wait for certain clarity or delays are frustrating. Um, so it, it's going to be a lot of celebrity stuff. Um, or popularity stuff. It's just waiting to get initiated in or waiting to get allowance. Stuff like that. Um, so. Number five. Something that will inspire you. We have the seven of swords. Someone will betray you. You're dishonest with others. Rethinking approach. You're dishonest with yourself. Um, coming clean. Uh, deception. Unfair results. So you might kind of be stretching the truth a little bit. Either through, you know, your own celebrity. What you say. What you do. Um, maybe maybe if you're an influencer, you're playing to the camera and not to reality. Um, and you might be buying into your own bullshit, which you shouldn't do. But, um, <laughs> I feel like there's some deception here. Um, and you might actually start gaining, you know, a little bit of attention drawn to that fact, which is a little weird. So just, just, uh, be aware. Um, 
and some people know. How your spirit guides speak to you this week. We have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups, you overlook the negative and you don't want to rock the boat. Overindulgence, gossip, you or your associates party too much. There could also be isolation. Um, so there's going to be a perspective point where everything kind of stops around you and you're observing yourself in real time. You're like, where the fuck am I? Like, you know, one of those things that, you know, they see in movies where time stops and you're just kind of looking around a party and stuff. One of those mannequin challenge things. But anyway, it's, it's going to put your life in perspective too. So just be aware that, you know, you might not want to be in that place. You might want to kind of be more mature with how you present yourself. Whatever the case is, there's going to be some type of, you know, divine intervention, I guess. Um, divine intervention happens to me every day. <laughs> so um, you might have one of those moments and you'll be like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> like... And it really either scares you or it enlightens you. So just be prepared. Number seven. How to, how to best support yourself this week. We have the sun. A marriage, joy, happy relationships, happy family, success, um, celebration, positivity, trips abroad, help with health and fertility. So you might actually want to be pregnant or you might have aspirations to be a parent, um, or celebrate your success with your family, okay? Um, so, whatever you choose, be positive about it. I'm not the most positive person, but, you know, you might want to share some of your success with your family or friends, um, that have been there with you, that kind of put in the work and tried to help you along or help you out when they had time. And then, you know, stuff kind of went awry, <laughs> I guess. You got popular and then, you know, you might have put them on the back burner. You know, just spend time with people that you care about. I feel like giving people time that have actually helped you out or get, given you advice makes them feel valued. Okay? And that's it. Okay, uh, Taurus, it's been a pleasure doing your uh, reading. Um, this reading is going to teach you a lot of lessons, but I do feel like your own experiences this week are going to be things that you remember, like for <laughs> inspirational speeches, okay? So just take it all in um, and figure out where you want to go in your life. I feel like this is a cr crossroads, okay? Anyway, I will see you in the next reading, alright? Bye now.